We have a question. Does anyone want to respond to this interesting question? I, I, I'll take a shot at it before throwing it to someone else. So I think the difference between Cthulhu and Satan is basically the difference between moral, what we call moral evil and what we call natural evil. Uh, Cthulhu is, uh, and I, I think Leviathan from a Christian angle, uh, both kind of arriving in different ways, is natural evil writ large. In Lovecraft, it's because the cosmos doesn't care about us, and so the natural world doesn't care, care about us. Uh, we're just insignificant grains of sand without meaning uh, to whatever is out there. Whereas with Leviathan, uh, it represents natural evil because it represents the chaos that causes natural evil, death, what have you in the world. Uh, so think about, think about cancer, for instance. I think we could agree cancer is pretty evil, uh, but cancer and Satan are in two different categories, <laughs> right? So, but in an uh, interesting way, it's interesting that in Revelation, Satan is almost folded over onto Leviathan in some sense. It's like Satan has delved so deeply into chaos that he's slowly becoming the, 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 the serpent of the abyss, the tyrant with uh, seven heads that we see in uh, uh, ancient Near Eastern literature. So it's 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 a both it's a both and I guess it's like moral evil is in its own way evil because you have intentionality, but uh, what's worse, being killed by someone or dying to cancer? It's <laughs> it's uh, it's perspective. <laughs> They're connected. I think they're connected ideas. I think that uh, moral evil and natural evil aren't necessarily distinguishable. I mean, for Lovecraft, uh, they would be, because I don't know if he would necessarily believe at a fundamental level there is moral evil, but it just is all comes from the uncaring nature of, uh, uncaring and cruel nature of the cosmos and reality itself. Uh, what about others? Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Uh, there are two different kinds of evil. And I think you put them on a spectrum, but they don't really overlap. I'll say this uh, to bridge the two, maybe. Uh, you know, if, if we're sort of equating Cthulhu and, and Leviathan as being uh, primordial chaos undoing just reality it doesn't really care about you but it wants to pull things apart at some point uh and then tie it in you know satan is leviathan who somehow cares enough about humanity to make them jealous and get on land and become the nahash that makes people fall so you can bridge it that way but the action becomes quite a bit different and uh um one is sort of utter destruction and where you just don't exist. The other one is condemnation. So it also depends if you actually believe in a spiritual world uh, or else one is not a possibility. Yeah. yeah, I'd say I'd say Satan is more becoming Leviathan uh, rather than he is already Leviathan. Like Levi Leviathan is the thing behind evil. Uh, at the bottom of things, uh, uh, Satan in the Christian sense is a moral agent who is infected with whatever Leviathan is, whatever he represents. So in that sense, Leviathan is more evil. I mean, that, that is why some of the scripture calls kings and warriors that come against Israel or just humanity in general, the Nahash too, it's the same idea, right? They take on that chaotic, destructive nature. So yeah, if you put it that way, then Leviathan, right? And 
Thus, Cthulhu, Cthulhu would be more evil.